Good morning, everybody. I'm Ed Barco here with Mike Kelly, and we are Real Estate Jerky Daily. Yes, we is. Uh, nice to have you back. It, you know, I, when I ever you're not here and I have to do it, it's just like boop, 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 done. <laughs> There's no interaction. Nothing to talk no, about. You know, Nobody looks at you and goes, huh? Well, the people go, if I did that by myself, they'd be going, there's something wrong with that boy. <laughs> Instagram. Hey, we're live. Yes, we are. Um, okay. So you were gone Friday because you're over at the uh, San Jose Pre. They call it Far West Pets. Yeah. President Elect Training Seminars. Yeah. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. I picked up some nuggets. I picked out up of a, uh, out of a one to 10. Where would it lie in there? Uh, seven. Okay. So if you didn't go, the food was horrible. <laughs> if you didn't go, would you still be able to be president? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't miss anything. <laughs> no, you didn't. Well, you, I did. Yes. You missed some things. Yeah. Um, but all in all, you're, you're a fantastic president. You're doing a great job. So. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Honka. you. Thank you. Honka, honka. <laughs> so, it, you know, it makes you think about what you want your presidency to be like, mm -hmm. what you want the club to be like. Mm -hmm. I guess everybody in, all of uh, Rotary International, except for the European clubs or the the international clubs, are suffering um, members. Yeah, well, it's everywhere. They're they're general. dying out. Yeah. you know. I mean, we're doing all right. Uh, oh, I think we are. Yeah, as long as we can't, you know, we don't get more and more people and die, we'll be okay. Yeah. All righty then. All right. <laughs> so let's go to the news. Uh, stocks and mortgage bonds are both. You know, not really moving today because we're waiting for Jerome Powell's information this week. Jobs data. Um, we're looking at your favorite report on Friday, BLS <laughs> ADP on Wednesday. Job, you know, initial job claims on Thursday. But the early estimates for looking forward is 150,000 mm -hmm. jobs created in ADP. Okay. And on Wednesday, that's on Wednesday, and then 200,000 in the BLS report. Um, the question, well, if that comes in, that's what the market's expecting. If it doesn't or goes over, it could really mess with stuff. Yeah, that's what we don't want. Yeah, well, the, I've been, so last Thursday after Rotary, I did a bunch of stuff and I stopped by and talked to Tom Bryant. Okay. And he was saying how that the current inflation report, PCE and all that stuff, they've changed it. It doesn't utilize the same numbers that the older reports used to do. So the government gets in and manipulates what percentages are adjusted in each one. So that's where the written number is. So the inflation is way worse than what they're telling us. Well, you, you would think that's the issue. Um, just talking to people, you know, they're, hey, I go to the grocery store and what used to be four bags of groceries for $105 is now a partial bag, <laughs> you know. Right. And so... You know inflation's here, right? So, and no matter what you say, the numbers are. You know inflation's here. I was listening to our moron in charge uh, this morning on a little so report, many of them. So which one are we talking about? It, the, it would be the big, big Kahuna. Okay. Um, hey, the economy is doing great. Yeah. Well, There's jobs and prices are down, and I'm going, what crack is he smoking? <laughs> it's got. Hey, it's got to be hunters. Hey man. Yeah. Hey man. All right, and then OPEC is extending uh, oil production cuts through quarter two. This, again, could push oil higher because that's what happens, supply demand. Yep. And now trading around $80 a barrel. This is another sign that, you know, we got to worry about inflation. That's why I brought up about the whole inflation numbers. Yeah. I think inflation is way worse than our government's telling us. It's like UFOs. They don't think we can handle it. Uh, that's why they hit it for so long. <laughs> And then, and then, and then had, there's some bad news for the president. Yeah. Hey guys, look over here. Mm -hmm. We're we're declassifying the UFOs. They've been here for years. No that was, shit. Trump Sherlock. did that. Trump did that. Yeah. Trump declassified. It just took forever to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Because they had to unredact everything. I didn't say which president. I know, said, but then they had to unredact everything. So it was to take them so long to unredact them. You gotta, yeah, you got to back up those black lines. <laughs> uh, let's see what else I want to talk about. Oh. Big news out today. Supreme Court says you can't take a president off your ballot states. You can't control the election yeah. through the states. Yeah. And now they're and all squirming. Well, the issue isn't really about Trump as it is right now, but it's really about, hey, if the states are able to take somebody off the ballot, then it, so many states could control the election exactly. for the federal. That is not how it's supposed to be. Yeah. So that's that's what's wrong in general, period. Whether or not you like Trump or not, that's what the problem is. Right. Right. It's like it's like when Schwarzenegger screwed things up for California. <laughs> he did trying a lot of good to, trying, things. Yeah, he tried to make it better to keep Republicans in. 
And in turn, now he unintended all, consequences. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. again, don't rush stuff through, period. Yeah. Uh, inventory this week, we're up to 409. Inventory rose from 497,608 nationwide to 498,339. A whole hundred thousand and something. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Not even that. It's less than that. Four nine. No, it's like nine hundred. Three thirty nine. Nine hundred nationwide increase. Wow. Can't sing that song. Previous year. Yeah, we were four nineteen by four nineteen. Wow. And then if you look in 2015, we were nine hundred and fifty eight thousand three oh four. That's the there's a bubble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, I mean, if you look over the last few years, our inventory really hasn't changed much. It's gone down a little bit more each year, but right. really, we haven't had a full year of inventory since 2020. And 2020 was a pent up demand, and that was like six, eight, six months of inventory. Yeah, it could have been seven, but you know, I was just yeah. But I think we blew through it in two, <laughs> <laughs> two months. Yeah. yeah. Uh, last week, over uh, past, if you look at the over the last so many years, they'd look at price cuts percentages mm -hmm. in 2022 we had 17.2 percent up to this month up to this week in the year of mm -hmm. price cuts in 2023 we had 31 percent of price cuts in 2024 we're at 30.5 percent so hmm. we're pretty much like last year that's interesting though it is i got what? some more worthless statistics go ahead <laughs> go for it all right, all right so First they were looking, home yeah buyer. so the gse is the fanny and freddie when they looked at the home the loans that happened last year for purchases they were and i saw two different numbers first one was 47 percent, another one was 55 percent. which one's well, right i don't know but basically saying <laughs> that's how what the first time home buyer were purchasing last year okay well, yeah, we all know that because the people own the homes like, oh, I'm not giving up this 3% interest rate no, or the, whatever. Like I'm going to stay here for as long as I can. Give me those handcuffs. That's right. Yeah, go ahead. You you keep talking real quick. I got to deal with something. Okay. So well, show your stuff down I, there. I'm going to show my stuff. What Mark, did I miss? Mark Card Cardisano. Um, here, I'll show you. He says, removing candidate uh, from state ballots was attempted done with Lincoln, contributing to the Civil War. Uh, well, <laughs> you, you were there at that time, weren't you? I was. Okay. I was. I remember talking with Lincoln saying, man, this is, I think we're going to go to war. <laughs> <laughs> 516 pending sales per day and 400. 400 Uh-oh, I'm dyslexic. 547 new listings per day. Now that's that's a bigger number than we've had all year uh, for a week. That's that's a good sign that you know there's a bubble. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there is no bubble. We, we just got you know we, we've got too many people that keep saying, "Hey, prices are going to go down." There's going to they're be, not going down. There's going to be a crash. I even, but kids, I even read an article. Happen. I read an article from uh, uh, what's that big uh, bigger pockets. That, that part, oh yeah and they were talking about how there could be a thing that you know stop saying i could there could be well my aunt could be my uncle yeah. if she had cojones well you know what i mean could have would have should have quit doing it yeah move on it's not gonna happen yeah we're still hanging in the about 12 percent um closed the sale entered an escrow and listed a property um for that week ending in february 2-4 and then here it's still up it's still very uh i say um, people yeah. are still optimistic. Yeah, well, good. You mean agents are optimistic. Yeah, not yeah. people, not just people. agents. Yeah. Well, agents are probably so drunk from uh, drowning their sorrows for no listing inventory yeah. that they're saying it's got to get better. That's, that's exactly what they're saying. Exactly. So, yeah, are you so, good here? Yeah, we're good right. here. Thanks for bringing that up today because of uh, you weren't here on Friday. I wasn't here on Friday, remember? Yeah, I remember. Uh because on Friday, I also talked about how, I don't know if you can say this guy's name. I know Joaquin that. Arambula. Yeah, he from Fresno. Wanted, he's from Fresno. He's from Fresno. And he introduced a bill last month to expand eligibility requirements for state loan programs to clarify that loans for first-time homebuyers would include what some people call undocumented immigrants and we call illegal aliens. Right. Uh, but that's a, that's wrong 
verbiage, uh, have a pathway to American dream of owning a home. Yeah. And this is such a huge thing. It's been on all the news today. Uh, I heard about it on Friday and I'm like, this is ridiculous. We need to stop this. Yes, yeah, stuff. If you're not here, you know, so if you break the law in California, you get everything. Right. And here it is again. You're coming across the border illegally. Let's give you home ownership. Let's give you medical. Let's give you all this stuff because hey, we're just a nice country. It feels good. Kumbaya. Yeah, move on. Yeah. I just, it's just ridiculous. But will you be look able at, to get insurance on their home? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that will be the stumbling block. Yeah, because, you know, yeah. Well, in California, you don't have to have a FICO score for insurance, any of that kind of stuff like you might have in other states, so it's not going to be a problem. Yeah, but you, if you buy in a fire area. Yeah, but here's the problem. Veterans versus illegal immigrants. Yeah. Who gets more in the, the state of California? Absolutely should. It, but said, they who don't. actually gets more? The illegal. Yes. And if you're a veteran, you don't get insurance from the state. You don't get that. You don't get help for getting a home from the state. From the state, you right. don't get any of that stuff. Right. You get a, oh, we don't really care about you from what you get from the state and feds. Yeah. All right. Insurance. Uh, Finance guru Susie Orman (laughs) says climate change will stop Americans wanting to own homes as is causing insurance rates to soar. I don't think that's going to stop people wanting to own homes. I think that what stopped them because they can't afford it, but they still want to. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. She faces a 28,000 a year premium for a Mod, what they call a modest Florida condo, 2,100 square feet. Yeah. Is that a modest condo? Well, probably in Florida. Probably for her. And Over her here, it's a pretty damn big that's condo. A, that's, <laughs> that's a huge, that's like three condos here. Yeah. Yeah. So my you know, question I is I got a modest condo and it's uh, 898 square feet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've had some fires, we've had some hurricanes, we've had some other stuff. They've actually in Florida, I talked about this last week, where they had, you know, ever since they looked at, you know, they had in 2021, there was that uh, condo collapse in Florida. Oh, yeah. So then they had to go back and retrofit all those and look at all those. That cost HOAs to go up from 400 to 700. So that was increased. And their insurance last year went up 23%. So it is going up. Right. But again, I'm moving to Florida because they have no no state tax, income tax. Yeah, but don't look at any <laughs> other thing you have to pay for. You know, instead of calling it climate change, why don't they just call it climate? Um, I, I think it's going to change all the time. And then I don't know if you heard this, but uh, the $20 an hour thing that went into place for minimum wage. Last oh. Week, did you, I, tell you, did you hear, I think, I don't know if you were on the day that we talked about Yeah, that. we talked about it where Gruesome Newsome yeah. uh, carved out Panera. But he no 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 it was not it was he just if you bake bread. bread so I wonder if that includes so yeah I heard his I heard his conversation where he said you know that was just the nature of the negotiations it was just well, it, it was back, in the original bill it came back and he said no 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 they're not going to be able to get away with it first of all what he they should, said that yeah that came out today oh yeah wow. that that's not the case Newsom well, said he, that yes well wow. of course he talks out both sides of his mouth no sh- <laughs> yeah kidding. okay no, no cussing sh- no cussing <laughs> kidding. Yeah. And that's what we deal with in the state of California. Everybody talks about us all over the United States. And, yeah. and, the, and then they talk about us in the world, about our president who can't stand up. Uh, and, you know, but he is behind closed doors. Some the the smartest person that anybody's ever seen. Have you seen the Saturday Night Live skit? <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah. have not. Yeah. Is all that- of them. Jean-Pierre and all of them suppose they're like, oh, he's he, I just can't keep up with him. He's just got so much energy behind closed doors. Sure he does. <laughs> So he's probably talking about Hunter because he just did. Well, he probably, yeah. Oh, what is this? A kilo. Is this sugar? Yeah. Let me put the sugar on my oh, stuff. Oh, my donut. Yeah. Yeah. Well, All right. So what do you got coming up for the rest of the week? Uh, we have nothing, so we're just going to go away. No, no, no. Actually, no, no I already said there's only Wednesday and uh, Wednesday and Friday. Okay. So Wednesday is ADP employment. So t- this is major employment week. ADP employment report, Jolt's report, and mortgage apps and poll and Powell's commentary is all on Wednesday. It's a huge day. It can move the market. Thursday, initial jobless claims. It's always on Thursday. And Friday is the basic life support jobs <laughs> report. Bureau of Labor <laughs> Services. Statistics. Okay. Whatever. No, BLS, though, if you're in the medical field, that is basic life support. Yeah. AC. Yeah. I saw a... Um life support system that the the patient actually holds and it pumps the chest <laughs> oh really yeah look pretty cool look like it was getting <laughs> what if you're dying well it, it, anyway his ribs were cracking i could tell yeah i didn't realize you actually break the ribs i was you know medical field forever i never had to do that but uh, watch the thing is like, like yeah that's how that happens yeah yeah 
Pretty common. Yeah. Oh, you just destroyed him. Yeah, but he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like crap. Wishes he were dead, but he's alive. All right. So that's pretty much all the news for today. Anything else anybody has to add? Uh, have a veteran coming from North Carolina to here. We need a three, at least a three bedroom, two bath place somewhere around here for around 400,000, which is very difficult. That's going to gonna be difficult to do, yes. but I bet we could do it someplace. Uh, we, well, we've been trying. Uh, he's getting knocked out because the, you know, the issue is yeah. the, if you make, if you're an E five in the, in the military, you're making a little over three grand a month and then you get BL, uh, BLS, <laughs> BHH and BA, you know, BAS, BAQ, whatever you want to call it, which you call BAH, non-taxable income of about another 2,400. So he's pulling in about 5,400. So he's bringing about 66. He can afford that, but he's stuck. And the money he has, I'm having him pay off his debt so he can afford homes in California. Because we're in North Carolina, he owns a home and his payment's only like 900 bucks a month. And yeah, yeah, it's just culture. Yeah, it's totally different world. So and, he, and he's, he's coming, holding on to his home and you know, yeah but that's not a problem because he, the rent he gets for it off will sure. get rid of the mortgage payment we can't use it for additional income because he hasn't had it for long enough and he still has large eligibility yeah well you get, remember for easiest way to figure that out conforming loan limit right True. so if you only have a loan of 180 in the conforming loan limit, i can do those math without even getting a calculator that we're okay. you mean in your head yeah oh yeah, whoa. yeah. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> without doing the form that yeah. we still have enough left over. That's the not the issue. It's just he needs the you know he needs closing costs back. So when you add you know add it to the purchase price, but we're stuck. What, what, what did Brad say? Might have three two four eighty. Uh, it's still not four hundred, <laughs> Brad. I, I I love your enthusiasm. <laughs> four hundred five is pretty much the max. Yeah, yeah, and we with ten grand back. <laughs> least he least you you popped it out there yeah, so somebody's that. gonna somebody's yeah. gonna see that brad and say okay i need someone i got someone yeah well because and that's we're just in that market so we need somebody who's like you know what i need to get this and i want to help a vet out yeah and he's coming here to be a recruiter in modesto so oh that guy you talked about yeah. him last week right but i didn't tell him the problem so we wrote multiple offers the issue really is coming in at you know we can get eight grand but he needs this amount and that so i actually told him to go look at a heloc on his yeah place there but the you know again it's uh he's not living in it anymore a little more cash down possibility um yeah where did you guys find him stuff here in modesto or we found one i guess supposedly over the weekend there was an off-market home and then he denied the denied <laughs> denied <laughs> but he no, so it's been multiple, the, it, no the, there was a few in he, merced he's used to driving an hour so okay. they went to merced and there was a couple there, but the problem, they took forever to figure out they wanted to write it. And then, they, you know, by the time Lost they're ready, it. there was two other offers. On yeah. It. Yeah. But yeah. In this market, kids, don't wait. Yeah. Well, the big, the, if you like the, the other home, issue write was, it. the other issue was they were like, we need a four bedroom because they're bringing the sister. And it's like, really deal with it. You got a three bedroom. You got a garage. Convert the garage for the sister because she's probably not going to stay here anyway. Yeah. How old is she? I don't know. I think I know everything about everybody. You should. <laughs> She's a Pisces. Oh, and she likes uh, long walks to the bank. <laughs> long she romantic to live, walks she, to the she bank. She likes to live where she doesn't have to pay anything. Oh. Okay. She needs a sugar daddy. A sugar brother. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Before we get into yeah, trouble, let's trouble. move on. Okay. I think that's it. That's all I have. So, okay. all right. Make it a great day. Thanks for being here. And we really appreciate everybody's comments and you watching. If there's anything else you want us to talk about, just reach out to us, you know, message us, direct DM us, whatever it is, and we'll talk about it. All Mike, those, thanks for being here. All those things. Pleasure being here, Ed. Right. Make it a great day. If you didn't catch this, remember, we'll always drop it as a podcast afterwards, usually right away, unless it's on a Thursday or, for, or Wednesday. Wednesday. Because those are two days right after we have something. Gotcha. All right. Make it a great day. Thanks right. for being here. Bye, kids. All right. Bye.